Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a page for fun. A page um, about my middle littles graduation. And the thing is, this is the page I'm on. However, her colors are for her school was red, black, and silver. So, as opposed to just blacking this all out, I am going to be adding pages to it, and I'll show you how I do that. But first, I need to go right down the middle here and turn this into all black. I'm going to just take my black marble paint, my Distress inking tool, and go all through here. That ought to do it for now. All right, so I got that done. Now I'm gonna set that aside to dry because I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next. What I had done was I had taken me two of my 80 pound cardstock sheets and on both sides, just went in with post box red and black marble spray. And then I used the retro stencil to kind of get some of it off. And I did it on both sides. And this is, uh, it's eight and a quarter this way. And this way it's eight and three eighths. And all I had done to get those measurements was I took and I measured the top of my book to the bottom, which is eight and a quarter. And then I measured the page, but I brought it over because I always leave a little bit of a gap because I don't want it to cause problems or pull up. So I brought it over a bit and I just doubled that roughly. So I came up with eight and three eighths. It's not precise, but it'll give me the right size, just like so. But then I folded it straight down the middle, just like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Dilution stencil. This one is um, Martha. And I'm going to put it roughly there, not all the way to the bottom or top. This is the smaller of the Marthas. And I'm just going to outline it. But I need, actually, I guess I need to go over a little bit because I do want to leave me a bit of a border. So I'm just going to outline it really fast. Move that aside. Now I'm going to take my white Posca pen and I'm just going to go just outside of that all the way around. All right, okay, so now that we've got all that, I'm just gonna take and I'm just gonna find me a section and I'm gonna cut just like this little side off. Okay, so we just cut just this side off because that is going to act as a flap. But what else I had done was, and I went ahead and made this one up, I did one for the other side as well. Just 
just like that. All right, now the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to put double-sided tape all over the back of this one because let me bring the book over and I'll give you an idea. Oh, that was loud, sorry. This one goes over here, just like so. Mm -hmm. And then this one is gonna attach to this little piece here and it goes over here, just like that. So, actually it may be easier to go ahead and do this one first. All I'm gonna do to do that is just like when I do the others, I'm going to place it roughly where I want it to be. It'd be easier if I hold it towards me. Put it roughly where I want it to be. And then I'm going to just flip my hook around, lay it flat, grab my pencil, which is right here. And just outline that little flap. It's kind of hard to see, but I, I have the rough idea here. So I know to put tape only on this side. As you can tell by the amount of tape that I use, the reason I put so much on is because this is just a tiny little thing and I want to make sure that I can hold these as securely as possible so that way it doesn't fall out. Alright, so let's go ahead and get that stuck down. And there is one side on and the other side is pretty much the same except it's going on the full page so we'll put double sided tape all over the back and I'll stick that down All right, so I've got those two things stuck down now. And my idea, the reason why I wanted to use these is this is the um, Martha, which is representative of a little girl to me. And then this is the Dilusions J, which is representative of a older young lady. So I figure this is where it all started with her school link. And this is where she is now from a little girl to a beautiful young lady. <laughs> All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to put some borders in, but these are not one for my actual border sheets. These are just borders that I made up because I wanted them to be the check. And the reason I didn't just do it on here is because I wanted the cream in the background. All right. So I've got all the borders put down, and then 
What I've done is, because I need to make room to have quite a bit of pictures in here, and this is going to be rather thick of a, you know, but what I figured I would do, in here I will write, obviously, here and here, um, and I think what I'm going to do actually is put, like, the year that she started school here, and then her graduation year over here. And then I have two images. I have her very first school picture, and then I have her senior year school picture that I'm gonna put here and here. So it's like, like I said, representing the, through her, you know, standard schooling years. This does not include college. <laughs> That's a whole nother page. When the time comes, of course. But, for in here, I'm going to do techniques that I had already previously done, just because I know that I can get a lot of pictures in with that. So, but instead of like, here, I'll just show you. Here, I have this, yes, seven and a half by three and a half inches. And I just folded it in a trifold. So at two and a half inches, I folded it over. And then at five inches, I folded it behind. So let's say it was laying out like this. I went over two and a half inches and folded it over on itself. And then I flipped it over. And then um, it would be another two and a half inches. So each one of these little sections is two and a half inches wide by three and a half inches tall. That's right, because it's two by three pictures that I'm using. So this is going to actually go over here, just like this, after I put borders on, of course. And then it's just gonna, like the Mother's Day page, it's just going to attach, I put double side tape under, I'm just gonna attach it here. And then it's going to fold out like this, which will give me room for one, two, three, four, five images. But I cannot put them on because the people that's in them prefers not to be on camera. And I'm okay with that. I can do those later. And I also have... I made this. This is three and a half inches wide by three inches tall because there is going to be one image that goes here and then I'm going to write down here about it. It's going to go up here just like so. Well, possibly. I may switch them over to where this and this goes here. And then I have this is like my um, fold up pocket thing but as opposed to it being up and down like this I just turned it horizontally but what I did on this one is this is eight inches wide Let me move this over eight inches sorry long I should say and then three and a half wide and because I knew I needed the center to be three inches because I am going to tuck a tag behind, I just folded it over at two and a half inches here. And I flipped it around and folded it over at two and a half inches on the other side, which gave me this. So I'm going to do some borders, doodle some borders on those. And it's going to go, I believe, right here actually. And then I have, I'm just going to take one of the distress tags, the little ones, and I just drew out a little graduation cap that I'm actually going to attach at the top here. And I'll just put a little border around here, write what I want to in here. And then back here, I'm not sure if I'm going to put an image on, but I think I'm just going to cover over everything in black and then decide from there. 
but this is just going to tuck right back here like so and you may be wondering why I don't have any color on any of the cream areas because the background is so dark to me that and like I said her colors are actually red silver and black but obviously I couldn't find silver but the background is so dark that I wanted to be able to allow the pictures to actually pop off with these. When the pictures are on, the cream's not going to show up as much. It just kind of looks off right now because, like I said, I can't put the images on at the moment. And then I have um, one of her tickets to her graduation that I'm going to attach over here. But I won't do that on video because it does have obvious personal information on and that will allow me say over here I can take my white paint pen and I can write about her schooling here and I'll do it over here as well and then make her um, ticket to her high school graduation a flap so that way you just lift it up and read it so I'm going to commence to putting these things down really really fast Before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and put my doodling on. I should have done it beforehand, but I'm just going to show you that it can be done even when it's in the book. So I'm going to put my doodling on here, and then I'll actually show, just in case you haven't seen the video with the flap, I will show how to do the, pocket, the folded flat pocket, whatnot. <laughs> Now I got all those doodled in. I'm gonna go ahead and doodle in these really quick because it is actually easier when it's not on the book, but it is what it is. So now I am just going to add double-sided tape along the two sides and the bottom, and it's quarter-inch double-sided tape. As close to the edge as possible. just like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and get this place down I'm 
with the glue stick, make sure you only go over where you put the tape down. Try not to go over it. Okay. Grab your photo card thing here and place it where you want it. And you can grab your tag and slide it in there. Just like that. Now, one thing I do have, because this, I mean, after this book is closed for so long, these will be trained to stay down. However, my middle little has been in love with elephants since she was two. So I found these little elephant paper clips. I wanted them in silver, but I couldn't find any. So I'm just gonna, for now, attach one here. Now, the last thing I think I need to do is decide what kind of border I want around this and to put this on. I think I might do the check border on this as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really fast. Alrighty, so now I got the check border on. Yep. I'm just gonna stick this hat on. Oh my goodness, look at my fingers. Oof. Back here where it goes, just like that. And that's it for now. I'm not gonna put a border out here until I decide if I'm gonna write here and just put the, like put her school name here and then put the year or put the year that she started school and what the school name was in here. And then write how she was as a, um, kindergartner and then do the same thing over here like the year and where she attended her high school and then put how she was as a high school student and then again I have two images I have her kindergarten image and I have her um, senior image that I'm gonna put here and here and then whenever you open it up I have a family photo here that's got um, me her dad her siblings and her grandma and grandpa. And then we've got the little trifold out thing here. And like I said, this is just, I thought these were cute and she's loved elephants since she was like two, so that works. <laughs> A little tag. Again, I left them cream because the background is so dark and I wanted these to pop out. I know it looks a little off right now, but again, when the images are down, it's not going to look off. And that just tucks back there. And then here, put, we can put an image there, an image there, one there, one there, and one there. Or even right above the four images that we have here. And I have a few other little odds and ends from her graduation that I'm going to put in here. But like I said, those have quite personal information on. 
so those are not going to be put on right now. I just wanted to show you guys what I've done for my middle little's graduation and hopefully it gives you some kind of inspiration. You never know. It doesn't necessarily have to be a graduation. It can be, say, like, um, from one birthday to the next. Or one birthday to 21 years. You can do the same technique with birthdays. Or anniversaries, even. You know, it matters not. But I hope it does give you some kind of inspiration. It's nothing new. Repetitiveness is key when it comes to this type of thing. So, you know, I just thought it was really, really cool and really cute. And I can't wait to get to finish decorating it up for her. And again, I hope this page gives you some kind of inspiration. If you like the video, please like it. Um, I thank you so, so, so very much for watching. I appreciate all your kind comments. It truly makes my day <laughs> when I get to read them. And until the next time, I hope you stay safe, stay warm, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.